safest areas in Tampa right now. That's because the area is literally crawling with police. Chip Osowski continues our team coverage in Seminole Heights. Chip? Yeah, absolutely, Stacy. Police are saturating this area. They are going door to door. They're talking to business owners, employees, and residents. They want to keep the lines of communication open. There is a man that comes by and he asks if there's um, any help that we can do to make some money. Community policing isn't anything new in Seminole Heights. The recent murders have simply heightened officers' presence here. Officer Ryan Agostinas believes the patrols may lead to tips that could pay off. It's like we're not going to get the lead sitting, you know, sitting in the district. So we're, you're going to get the lead out here driving up and down the streets or with people calling in and, and wanting to speak out because they're the ones that live here and they don't want to be terrorized by whoever's doing it. Meanwhile, at the Red Star Bar on Florida, employees feel safe. Not because of the increased police presence, but because they're not working alone. The bar's owner making sure workers and patrons alike know they're in this together. Bringing in extra people to make sure that nobody's closing by themselves. Um, yeah, walking customers out to their cars. You know, we'll even walk a customer to their house. You know, either way. So we're making sure it's all safe. Some believe these events have only made the community stronger. Those in blue believe it will only be a matter of time before they know who is behind this and why. The more police you have in the area, the more opportunities you have to, to get information. And police are responding to absolutely every phone call out here. One call we responded to earlier today, a woman called to report a car was turning around in her driveway. No call is being ignored. Stacy. All right, Chip Osowski, live in Seminole Heights. Thank you.